Hey what's up YouTubers, it's Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to add long shadows to an icon in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with I've got my icon here, it's a heart. If you'd like to see how to draw this heart I'll put a link below in the description to that tutorial. So we've got our icon, we're going to start by selecting it and going over to the appearance palette. If you haven't got that on the right hand side you can go up to window at the top and then you'll find it here. So just select that. And you'll see here we have no stroke and we have a fill that is red. That's all fine. We're going to go down to this icon here and click that, which will create a new fill and just drag that underneath the existing fill. And by clicking on the color itself, we can then change that to a light gray. And the next step is to go up to effect, distort and transform, and then click transform. Now for the move, we set the horizontal and the vertical to 0.5. Make sure that transform objects is the only one selected. We can tick the preview box as well, just so we can see this happening. And where it says copies, let's change that to 200. And you'll see there it starts to create the shadow. And as you increase this number or decrease it, will determine the length of the shadow. So because we're going to crop ours inside a circle at the end anyway, let's just make this really large and click OK. So there's our shadow. Now what we can do is select this object. You'll notice that the shadow is attached to it if you do move it around. And you can select this little drop down here and click Opacity and change that to Multiply and leave this at 100%. That's absolutely fine. So now let's draw our circle. Let's just make it blue for now. And we're going to send that to the back. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the circle itself red and make the color of the heart white. I have to make sure here that I change the color with this top fill layer selected. As you'll notice just then, I tried to change the color with the gray layer selected, and that is, of course, our shadow. So make sure that you select the main fill that we had at the beginning in the appearance palette, and we can just change that to white. And then it retains the shadow. And the reason we selected multiply was because that blends the gray over any color that you put behind it. And what you can actually do now is if you go up to Window and down to Graphic Styles, you'll get this palette here. You can actually drag this icon over here into the Graphic Styles palette. And now if you were to create another shape, you simply go to the Graphic Styles palette, select the item we just created, and it will create exactly the same shadow. So you can save that as a preset and easily draw any icon and then instantly add a shadow in a few clicks. So that's a really handy one to remember. But to finish off this one, we just want to crop off this excess shadow here. So how we're going to do that is we're going to select our circle. We're going to go up to Edit and Copy. And then Edit, Paste in Place. And it will paste it on top of everything. And now what we want to do is just select this top circle and select our heart with the shadow. Go up to Object, Clipping Mask and Make. And you'll see here that it now clips off anything that goes outside of that circle. And there we go. We've added long shadows to a shape in Adobe Illustrator. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did or it was helpful, let me know by leaving a like. And I'll see you next time. Take care.